Defense and Space News TV report. Today we discuss about Indian Air Force and its great plans for Mark II medium weight fighter, Indian Defense Research Wing. After clearance from Defense Ministry, Indian Air Force is all set to take over the indigenous LCA Tejas program. But Tejas MK1 and MK1A program are far more advanced in their product development, that Air Force has little control to make any radical changes to the program other than fine-tuning current arrangements and supply lines, so that the current production rate can be improved in next few years. Aeronautical Development Agency and DF have not revealed many details of the new planned development of the new fighter aircraft, which EF chief likes to call it medium weight fighter over Tejas Mark II due to its increased capabilities. But EF is already taking control of the program and it is pretty impressive. About upgraded capabilities of medium weight fighter. Medium weight fighter, MWF, will have a maximum takeoff weight of 17.5 tons and will also come with an improvement of over 85% in weapons and payload carrying capacity to that of Tejas, light combat aircraft, LCA. MWF will be powered by a single GE 414 in engine which can generate around 98 knots thrust levels which are pretty high for a fighter in its class. Buzz around is that whole idea behind the enhanced development of a new fighter was the brainchild of high-ranking officials of EAF who were pretty concerned with delays associated with the purchase of new fighter aircraft from foreign countries and Ada tagged along in its development. The plan is to have an aircraft which exceeds in performance to upgraded Mirage 2000 and will go on to replace Jaguars, MiG-29 and Mirage 2000S from EAF inventory in near future by 2040. Now about phased block development. To keep MWF technical modern in an era of fifth generation aircraft, EAF is planning to give later blocks, 5th generation upgrades from the AMCA program since EAF has a requirement for over 200 MWF and block development stages are been planned, keeping in mind future technologies. 200 unit is huge number but incorporating all 5th generation technologies in initial batches will not be easy and EAF plans to use block configuration developments so that technologies which have matured will go in first and more complex ones will be reserved for later batches so that the program does not face its delays. Next. Clean Slate Design. MWF is not likely to have a clean slate design but will come with advanced composite materials which will enhance its low technology, low observable, but it won't be a pure stealth aircraft like F-35 or F-22. MWF might feature canards to improve its low speed performance and might also feature both drop tanks and conformal fuel tanks. CFTs, which had become increasingly popular way to add range to existing fighter design without making a large impact on the jet's speed and agility. About indigenous weapons system. MWF will have more indigenously developed aerial weapons system which will reduce need for imported weapons considerably. MWF will feature Astra Bram and its successor from the word go and will come with other air-to-ground weapons systems like SAW, Garm and Brahmos NG. Now about private production. MWF is most likely to have a private production line which will not be directly associated with state-owned HAL or its associated labs. EAF is keen to rope in a new supply chain for MWF. Next greater EAFA participation. EAF will no longer just be a customer in the development of MWF but also an active participant which will be involved in troubleshooting and best of the brains from EAF's depot level maintenance and engineering departments are likely to be deputed to the program so that technical issues and teething problems which usually are more time consuming and can often lead to several delays in program can be addressed at the local levels to reduce delays. Thanks for watching. Do some.